And in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS here in Fortnite. If you're currently struggling with FPS drops, low FPS in general, guys, or the game just simply feels super laggy, you came to the right place. I'm going to show you step by step everything you should do on your Windows PC in order to boost your FPS. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you have any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And you guys, in the first place now, we gotta need a tool which you can find on my Discord. Just simply type in discord.gg slash stripes or click on the link in the description where you can then find my community Discord with over 75 active members guys and once you're on here and you're verified you know you're just simply gonna click here onto the search bar type in park control until you can already find it here park control setup click onto it and then you can see this channel here guys and from there you can get the installation file just simply click on the little download button you know if it's going to show you here potentially dangerous guys that's like a default message on discord because they can't make sure you know that there's like only safe data but of course this one is safe guys because i got it here even on my pc then you're just simply gonna go through the installation process you know click onto yes here real quick select english go into agree Go on to next guys and then go on installation but i already got it here on my pc so therefore i'm just going to launch it here park control application click onto yes and this is exactly how it should look like that and what we're going to do in the first place guys is click onto cpu settings for power profile and make sure to put it onto bitsum highest performance guys that is the best one for any pc guys always making sure that your cpu is going to run at its maximum speed and basically like all of your cores are working as well and all the threads and you don't have parked cores or threads because sometimes guys on any of like these ones here let's just say power saving it might happen that some of your threads are going to be like parked because that's going to prevent your cpu from working 100 percent towards getting the maximum performance out of your pc and then guys what you're going to do is click here real quick onto apply and once you're done with that you're going to click onto power options and it's going to automatically redirect you here now to your energy and power options and there you can see now right now highest performance is selected but what we want to do is click onto bitsum highest performance and you can see it provides bitsum optimized cpu performance but we just manually put it to the maximum you know what we just did here maximum performance everything so therefore just leave it like that guys and yeah then you're already done and you can close both of these programs here you don't need it anymore click onto ok and you're good to go so guys and for this next step we're gonna make sure that our pc is running as well on the max speed and what you guys just simply gotta do is press your windows key plus r so this like small run window here is going to open and then we're gonna type in there ms config just simply like this you guys as you can see it here ms config click onto ok and then your system configuration should pop up and once we're in here we're gonna go over here from general to boot guys and there is now basically a windows selected as you can see for me it's here right now windows 10 and we're going to click onto advanced options and once we're in here we have now a bunch of options we have number of processor maximum memory global debug settings but what are we going to do is click onto number of processor make sure to put a check in here and here from this drop down menu we're gonna go from one all the way to the maximum which our pc can ensure for me it's 16 guys because i'm running a ryzen 7 with eight cores and 16 threads if you're maybe running an i7 you have like six cores 12 threads you know it really depends on your pc guys how powerful it is just simply make sure that you go all the way down and select the maximum amount then you're gonna click onto okay click onto apply onto okay again and then it's going to ask you you may need to reset your computer to apply all these changes before restarting save any open files and close all programs guys and then we can click here just simply onto restart or exit without restart and yeah then you're just simply done here with this step as well in this next step guys we're now going to delete all the temporary data on our pc and what we just simply have to do is go into windows search bar type in presenter temp presenter and open up the first file folder once we're in here guys you can now see that i have a ton of temporary data here on my pc there's literally so much and what you guys want to make sure is scroll all the way down and select all of them because all of these temporary data even though they're like not really like huge you can see it is like only like a thousand kilobyte which is like 1.2 megabyte they're still going to get like pressed through on your hard drive every single time um once you open up actually here your file explorer let's just say that you want to open up any like registry here on your pc this is always going to get scanned in the background as well slowing it down guys so therefore temporary data are bad for your pc just simply slowing it down costing you important system performance which could be used for games so therefore select all of them click on to delete on your keyboard or right click onto it and go and delete click on to continue and then you can see a 1200 items actually and if there's anything which is still like open in the background like for me here right now adobe because that's like my video editing software you're gonna um click here on to do this for all the current items and just simply skip them you know if there's like some which can't be deleted that's totally fine but you can see there's way less now and once we're done with it we're also gonna click here onto our recycle bin and empty it real quick 
and we're already done here click on to continue and over 1100 files got deleted then in this next step guys we're gonna make sure that we get the maximum amount of power out of our gpu so therefore what we want to do is go into a windows search bar and just simply type in gaming until we can find game mode settings guys just simply open it up and you can see now especially since the latest few updates guys the game mode improved a lot and it's actually providing you with better performance in fortnite so therefore make sure that it's actually turned on to on and then we're also going to click here onto related settings graphic settings open it up and hardware accelerated gpu scheduling should also be turned on reduce latency and improve performance you'll need to restart your pc to have all the changes take effect so therefore guys once you actually turn it on here you also afterwards have to restart your pc and then we can also see a graphics performance preference and you can actually add here your Fortnite or whatever game you guys want to play. You can see right now I've got my Fortnite here running on high performance. So therefore just simply click onto browse, you know, and then you can go here onto your normal PC, go into your main hard drive, program files, find your Epic Games, then Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64. And there you have your Fortnite client, Windows 64 shipping extra. Make sure to add that one. And once you go into options, guys, you gotta put it onto high performance, not power saving or let Windows decide. Straight up high performance, guys. This is going to ensure you to have the maximum amount of FPS. And then we're already done here with this step and you can restart your PC. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite, guys, I open up no ping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay of my keyboard. And in addition to that, guys, no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you want to play. As an example, if you're going to search here for Fortnite, guys, we can click onto it and it's going to showcase me the best server in my near, which would for me now be here London 02. And you can see on London 02, I get only 20 three milliseconds delay whether on frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys where i would get 26 milliseconds so therefore this already helped me to get three milliseconds less ping guys and then we're only going to click here onto optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys just simply let no ping run in the background you can boost your fps reduce the input delay and get less ping and by the way with the link in the description guys and my code you can get 20 percent off as well as the seven days trial guys and you can pay super easy we are paypal so therefore this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out so guys and for the next step we have to head over into our epic games launcher guys because we are going to apply some settings here as well and we're gonna go here now onto our normal name and click onto settings guys once we're in here we're gonna scroll down all the way until we can find fortnite and then we can use here now in addition additional command line arguments we're going to launch it guys and now i'm going to give you the lines which are gonna be as well in the video description and yeah guys these are the ones which we applied here land play no splash no texture streaming and use all available calls these are going to ensure that you can get more fps in fortnite guys just simply paste them in there but be careful that you always have a space bar between each other otherwise they're not going to work guys and yeah as mentioned they're gonna be in the video description as well somewhere there on the top guys and once we're done with that we're going to close this open it one more time just to make sure that they're also like in here and once we're done with that we're gonna go back here now into our library guys and they're gonna find now your fortnite click onto these three dots go into options and make sure that you only have fortnite core and battle royale installed guys nothing else and if you can also uninstall as many languages as you want guys just simply keep it on english or whatever language you want and then also make sure that high resolution textures are also not installed then you're gonna click onto apply and you're already done here with this step now as well and yeah guys after applying all of these steps you're definitely gonna have a lot more fps in fortnite and you also fixed any sort of stutter or additional latency and if this guide was helpful for you please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and by the way guys also don't forget to check out my tiktok i actually now made a tiktok account so therefore i'm gonna put it right now here on screen just simply make sure to follow me there i'm gonna upload on a daily base and it's gonna be informative videos or funny content some stuff like that and with that said we're basically done here and yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace